if you're trying to print your spreadsheet and you don't like the fact that in the back it's just blank white space and no grid lines, well, stay tuned. I'll show you how to display the grid lines while you print in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm with Office Nifty and I make quick tips on how to use Calc software. So I'll demonstrate in this sheet. So I'll return back to print preview. I'll open up this view, the content of my spreadsheet, which is actually one line in the first cell. So the way to turn on grid lines is we go to this icon. It's called Format Page. Then let's go to the Sheet tab. And here under the Print area, we'll select Grid. Let's hit OK and see what we get. So now the only difference is a grid that surrounds my content. But what if you wanted the grid lines to appear on the whole page? Because frankly, if I print this out, it looks a little bit strange because I only have one cell and a box around it. I'll show you the hack to how to extend the grid lines all the way to the bottom right of the printed page. So here I'll close out of the preview. Now we're back to the sheet. Now this is important. If you can notice, there's a dashed vertical line between columns G and H. This means the border of the printed page is right here. So anything in column G or before will be printed. If I scroll down a little more, we notice here's a horizontal line between rows 49 and 50. This represents the bottom of the sheet. So anything row 49 or above be part of the first page. So if you remember how the grid lines only showed up around the cell where I had a value in, which was the first cell. Well, the hack is we need to put some value here on the very bottom right hand corner of the sheet. And that would be cell G49. So all I'll do here is enter spacebar and press enter. So let's go back to the print preview and see what it does for us. And there we go. Now we see the grid lines showing up on the whole page. Now visually, you can tell the grid line is not centered. Well, the main reason is if we show the margins here by clicking the icon. After displaying the margins, you can kind of see that the right margin and the left margin are of the same width. But here there's an extra white space. And that's because there's not enough space here to fit another column. If you notice my final column, it's a little bit wider than this white space here. So Calc is not going to squeeze that in. Instead, if there's anything, it'll print it out in a separate page for that column. What we can do is tweak it a little bit. So here's the plus and minus. This kind of allows us to zoom the spreadsheet a little. If you notice, I clicked the plus a couple of times and it's looking a lot better in terms of margins. But now we've come to a problem where there's a page two to our printout. I still just want one page. So the fix for that is we'll go back to the sheet. Remember how I entered a space and it was cell G49. I can go ahead and delete it. I press the delete button and we can see that the new dotted line is between row 44 and 45. I'll put the space in here, press enter. And if we go back to print preview, we still see the grid lines and there's no longer a page two. For your sheet, you may need to do something similar as I did by adjusting the zoom and going through to make sure the content that you want to print on your page shows up and is visually pleasing. There is no one size fits all solution because everybody's sheet is different in their column widths. Also, the margins could be different in their printer as well. So that's it for today's tip. If this was helpful, I recommend you to watch another video about how to change or hide grid lines in your sheet in LibreOffice Calc. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay nifty.